Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Good morning. Today is the 28th of November, and this week was Thanksgiving, and I had such a great time spending, safely spending time with some friends and family. Did you have a good time with Thanksgiving this week? I hope you did. So this morning, I have another special friend that came to help us sing the opening song, Good Morning and Sabbath. You know the drill now, boys and girls. Let's run inside and grab one of his stuffed animals or one of his stuffed toys and bring them out to sing Good Morning and Sabbath. Come on now, go, go, go. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, there you are. So today, I brought my dog, my pink dog, and his name is Strawberry. And Strawberry is a big, nice, furry dog. And I love to cut up a strawberry sometimes, you know? Anyway, so now we're going to sing our song, Good Morning, It's Sabbath. Strawberry says, I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath day, boys and girls. Bye. So, next song that we're going to sing is God Cares For You. And do you guys remember the actions? We swing our hands like this, God cares for you, and then we clap. So, because I can't, I'm not there with you in person, I'm just going to sing God Cares For You, my friend. But you know what you can do? You can, you can say your name right there at home. Let's go now. God cares for you, my friend. God cares for you, my friend. God cares for you, my friend. God loves and cares for you. God cares for you, my friend. God cares for you, my friend. God cares for you. My friend, God loves and cares for you. So one thing I miss, boys and girls, is coming to church. Jump into my car and driving here and coming to see your beautiful faces. So now, I'm going to jump into this car. Not really jump into the car, but I want you to go run inside, grab a toy car. I'm going to wait for you. Go, 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 go. Okay, are you back now? Okay, so that's we're gonna take our cars and we're gonna pretend to drive to Sabbath school as we sing our song, I love to come to Sabbath school. I love to come to Sabbath school. I love to sing and pray. I love to come to Sabbath school. So now, I am going to grab my phone. And I know that you might have a phone at home. Or you, maybe you can grab your mommy or your daddy's or a grown-up cell phone. Or you can use this phone. You just put this finger up and this finger up. And you get a phone like this. And we're going to sing, 
I talk to mommy on the phone and I talk to daddy on the phone. I talk to mommy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to mommy on the phone and she hears me, I know. Now daddy, I talk to daddy. It's time to put our phones away. And there's somebody we can talk to without a phone. And do you get boys and girls know who that is? That is Jesus. We can talk to Jesus without a phone when we pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray. When I pray. Let's get ready to pray. When it's time to pray, I bend my knees, fold my hands, bow my head. When it's time to pray, I close my eyes, and then I talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your Sabbath. We thank you for these beautiful children. And we thank you for our homes and our families. We thank you for keeping us safe this week and for another Sabbath day. We thank you for being able to have beginner Sabbath school here virtually online. Be with our families and be with all the boys and girls. We love you, Jesus. This is our prayer. Amen. So one of the things we used to do, we do each Sabbath, is that we bring an offering to God. And that offering goes to help boys and girls all over the world who may not have a nice Sabbath school like we have. So go to your grown-up that's close by, that's by you right now, and tell them to click on the link right above there so that they can help you bring a gift to Sabbath school. I'm going to hold this basket while we sing our love gift song. We bring into the house of God our love gifts now to share that other children to me learn of God's sweet love and care. We bring Now, we're going to sing happy birthday to everyone who had a birthday. Sing with me as we sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear friends, happy birthday to you. And now boys and girls, remember the best book that we have out that ever exists is our Bible. The Bible is God's word to us. And it's a way that God speaks to us. So let's sing the song now, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. 
I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E, the B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E, the Bible. And one thing the Bible tells us over and over again is that Jesus loves us. So, I want you to grab whatever musical instrument you can find at home, or maybe you can get two pieces of sticks or two pieces of Legos and knock them together as we sing, Jesus loves little children. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And now it's time for a story. So there once was a man who name was Philip, and one day he was minding his business, and an angel came and told him, Philip, go walk down that road. Philip was like, just go walk down the road? The angel said, yes, go walk down that road. So Philip, who knew that the angel came from God, started walking down that road. Then. While he was walking down that road, he saw a man from Ethiopia in a chariot, something like this. And the chariot was going. And Philip walked closer to the chariot, and he saw that the Ethiopian man was reading a scroll. Now a scroll, kids, is what books were like a long time ago. It was like a roll of paper rolled up, and then you open it out like that to, to read it. And that's what the Bible looked like back then. So Philip asked the, walked up to the, to the Ethiopian man and said, Hey, do you understand what you're reading in that Bible? The Ethiopian man said, No, I do not. So Philip finally realized why the angel said, Philip, go walk down that road. It was because the angel knew that that man was going to be in that chariot reading the Bible. And Philip knew what the Bible, what the passage that the man was reading meant. So God wanted him to go explain what he was reading to the man. He wanted the man to know that Jesus loves him. And just like Philip, God wants us to tell those around us, that Jesus loves them. Now listen, everyone needs Jesus in every part of the world. Jesus is a gift for every man, woman, boy, and girl. You and I have good news to share. Jesus gave us a job to do. We must tell everyone we know Listen, Jesus loves you. So remember, boys and girls, whenever we get the chance, we should tell those around us, Jesus loves you. And I want you to learn our memory verse for this month. It comes from Luke chapter 10, verse 27. It says, love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Now let's say it with me now. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. I want to say it one more time. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. So remember that boys and girls, just as how we love God, we ought to love each other and love those around us. So that brings us to the end of Sabbath school today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week 
and I'll see you again next Sabbath. Bye! Have a great week!